assalamu alaikum students in today's lecture we will study about the equation of line that how can we make equation of line uh, line depending upon the different material available suppose uh, it has different forms and we will study one by one the first form is actually the slope point form and uh, as you can see from the name we we will have two things available one will be the slope of the line and the other will be any point uh, which lies on that line and uh, let us consider an example suppose uh, if we have uh, let me first write the general form of that equation that would be uh, suppose if we are given with a slope m and uh, there is a point x1 y1 which lies on uh, that line so then the general form general form of that line will be y minus y1 and slope times x minus x1 so this will be the general form of the line and that is known as the slope point form suppose the slope is given here 9 and the point which lies on the line is 2 1 then to find out the equation of line, we'll, we will just put the values in this general form and we will get the required equation of line. Suppose uh, we put it over here. The known values will be represented by prefixes and that will be x1, y1 and this slope will be called m. So just put the values over here. y minus y1, which will be 1 minus 1 equals to slope times x minus x1 and that will be 2. So we will just multiply them and array them and we, we, we will get the required equation. y minus 1 equals to 9x minus 18. Uh, it will be 9x minus 18 equals to y minus 1. So 9x minus y minus 19 uh, minus 17 equals to 0. This is our required equation of the line. Usually whenever we write the equation of the line, we will just write it in, in, in this form ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So whenever we drive an equation, we will just arrange, them, uh, arrange it in uh, this order. Uh, let us consider another example. Suppose now the slope is uh, uh, given I mean, equals to suppose 3 and that point where it lies is 1, 2 so again it will be y minus y1 so y minus 2 slow times x minus 1 so if we just multiply that that will be y minus 2 equals to 3x minus 3 and on arrangement it would be something like this 3x minus 3 equals to y minus 2 and 3x minus y and it would be minus 1 equals to 0. So this is our required equation of the line. So uh, that was the way how to find the equation of line when the slope of that line and a point that lies on the line is given. Okay, now let us now discuss uh, another form of that, uh, another way to find the equation of line, and that is called two point form. And as it can be seen by the name of this form, here we will have two points that lies on that line. Suppose these points are x1, y1 and the other point is x2, y2. Then there are two methods which we usually use to drive these equations. Uh, uh, let me discuss both of them. First is just to use the general form that is y minus y1 or y2 minus y1 is equal to x minus x1 or x2 minus x1. This is actually the general form. And it is also derived uh, from the slope point form. And uh, we can just prove it over here. Our slope point form is y minus y1 equals to slope times x2 minus x1 and if uh, x minus x1. If we just put the value of slope over here, we know that the first formula of the slope is y2 minus 1, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. If we just put the values uh, in this equation, we will get y minus y1 
equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1 and if you just uh, move that value over here it will be y minus y1 over y2 minus y1 equals to x minus x1 over x2 minus x1 this is uh, the same form which I have already written over here and this is actually our general form so uh, whenever we have two points to form a line we will just put the values in this um, x1, y1, x2, y2 will be known values suppose we have two points uh, 3, 2 and 0, 1 and we want to find we want to find the equation of line between uh, these two points uh, let me put these values over here y minus y1 so this is yx1 this is y1 this is x2 and this is y2 so there will be just y minus y1 or y2 minus y1 so there would be y2 is this so it would be 1 minus 2 equals to x minus x1 so x1 is 3 or x2 minus x1 so that would be 0 minus 3 so <coughs> if you have excuse me y minus 2 or minus 1 is equal to x minus 3 over minus 3 so it's going to be 3 times y minus 2 these will be cancelled out so just we don't have to worry about that x minus 3 so that would be x minus 3y and it will be minus 1 equals to 0 so this is our required equation of line and this is one approach and the other approach is uh, like this if uh, we have two points we'll just find the slope uh, using those, these two points and that form will be converted into slope point form suppose if we have 1, 2 and 3, 4 we will just calculate the slope and that would be 4 minus 2 or 3 minus 1 and it would be 2 by 2 that would be 1 so here slope is 1 so just take that slope and any one of that point and you will get the form which have already uh, which we have already discussed in the uh, first part and that is slope point form so that's how we can uh, find the line when uh, two points are given okay now uh, there is another form uh, that is called two intercept form This is called two intercept form and uh, again we can see by the name that we, we will have two intercepts and namely there will be x intercept and y intercept actually x intercept is that point where the line touches the y axis and the y intercept is that point where it touches the x axis suppose and uh, let me write its general form first that is x by a plus y by b equals to 1 and this a is called x intercept and this b is called y intercept so <coughs> suppose uh, if we have x intercept equals to minus 3 and y intercept equals to minus 2 and we need to find the equation of line so we will just put the values over here and it will be something like this it will be x minus 3 plus y minus 2 equals to 1 it will be minus 3 uh, minus x by 3 minus y by 2 equals to 1 and if we just take the LCM and multiply on both sides so we will get minus 2x minus 3y equals to 6 and it can be written as 2x plus 3y plus 6 equals to 0 so this is our required equation of line okay well these are the simple forms uh, with the help of the which we can find equation of line sometimes the cases are not simple and we will have to do 
some extra work. Suppose if we have uh, we have to find an equation of line, find an equation of line passing through passing through through one two and is perpendicular to a line to a line having slope uh, let me say three okay this is a uh, bit more extended form find an equation of line passing through one two and uh, is perpendicular to a line having the slope three okay uh, now if we see uh, we have the point of our line which we have to find and that is 1 2 so that's evidence that we have the point so now, now if you look at this condition which the, our required line is perpendicular to a given line and that given line has the slope 3 so by using the condition of perpendicularism we can say that the slope of our line which is required that would be the negative reciprocal of this slope so our required m will be negative 1 by 3 so this is just simple uh, point slope form so you can just put the values and find the equation of line by yourself okay now if i just change the case and i if just write over here find an equation of line which both which passes through 1 2 and is parallel to a line that passes through that passes through three four and one two okay now in this case we will just take the point one two this is the point which lies on our required line so that's okay now if we see that our required line is parallel to a line which passes through these two points. So by using slope formula, we can find the slope of that line which is given. Okay, let me calculate that. Suppose we call that m dash, and it would be slope between these two points, 3, 4, and 1, 2. So it would be 4 minus 2 and 3 minus 1, and it is 2 by 2, and it is again 1. Okay, now this is the slope uh, which is uh, actually the slope of uh, given line and for for our required line we would just see the condition of parallelism and it will say that the slope of our required line is equals to the slope of given line so m our required line would be slope of our required line would be equals to m dash and that would be 1 so again we will have m equals to 1 and we have a point 1 2 so again it's slope point form and you can easily solve it uh, you can easily find the equation of line using that method okay there are a lot of other applications of uh, these concepts so we will discuss one by one in future lectures and hope that this uh, this will give you a clear idea how we're going to proceed in future lectures thank you